everyone. Thanks for joining me. I am so excited about today's tutorial. I have another placemat project for you. And today we're going to take the new Pioneer Woman placemats from Walmart. These are $3.47 and they're super cute. They have these really cute pom-poms on the end and they're purple. And we're going to turn this into this. And you guys, this is the absolute easiest fastest project I have ever done a video on. I have just made two of these for the video to make the video and I made this one and I made another one like this for the video. I made these in eight minutes, both of them from start to finish eight minutes. So this is so easy. No zippers involved. You embroiderers, I think you're going to be able to embroidery on the side of the bags. You can also turn the bag up like this and use it just like that. And I think that is really, really cute too. So let me, for you embroiderers, before I go any further, I'm going to tell you from the top of the placemat is to the bottom of the bag is approximately six inches if you use my measurements when you box your corners. So um, I think that's helpful helpful for you. I was told to give you that dimension. So on the, would be on the middle of the bag, fold it in half, middle of the bag. From here to six inches, excuse me, six inches will be your side panel. So I suppose you're, you're probably wanting like the three inch to be in the center of your finished fabric basket. So I think these are really cute. Let's jump into the video. I'm going to show you how to make these. And I'm telling you guys, this one is so easy. Okay, guys, here is our placemat. We're going to fold it in half so that the side that you want on the outside is on the inside. So you're looking at what's going to be the inside of your basket. You want to finger crease it and do that pretty good. You're going to need that halfway measurement a little bit later. And then I like to add just a few clips just to keep things from shifting. This is a little bit bulky. You've got the pom-poms to deal with and you don't want it to shift as you're sewing this. But there's really only a couple seams. So if you're comfortable not pinning it, feel free to do that. Now you're going to sew right across the short edge, right on the seam. If you look closely, there is a seam there already from the placemat. And I just tried to follow right over that edge of that seam. You don't want a big seam allowance because this will show when you turn it right side out. And you're going to stop just before you get to the pom-pom. So sew off the placemat, but don't sew over the pom-poms or ruffle or depending on what placemat you use. Just make sure the placemat itself, you're sewing and backstitching at the beginning and the end of your stitch. And sew right off the end and stop. And you can see as I am sewing along that edge and again I'm keeping it very close to the edge. I'm moving the pom-poms out of the way and sewing right off the edge. Now I've used some blue thread on this so that when I turn this right side out you're going to be able to see it but it's also going to help you be able to see where I sewed. Now you're going to flip it over and, and sew the other short end exactly the same way. I'm just using a two and a half or 2.5 stitch length and again just sewing back stitching at the beginning and the end and sewing as close to that edge on the seam that's already there as I can. Once you have that done, this is the fun part. We're going to box those corners. And so to keep everything lined up, I'm finger pressing this once again. I want to make sure I know where that center line is before we move on to the next step. We're going to open it up. And we're going to push this corner down and we're trying to line that seam that we just made, the one that's laying down. We're lining that up with the finger pressed center that we just made. So I'm trying to line that up inside the bag. And if you want, you can mark this with a fabric marker before you fold the placemat in half before you start. But I find this works pretty well and it's pretty easy to eyeball where that center is, but you do want to make sure it is centered. Now, once you have that centered, I made a template. It is a triangle. It is 4.25 on the sides and six inches across the bottom. If you want, you can just measure down 4.25 on each side of the corner 
and mark it and then join the lines where they are six inches. Now you can mark this with a fabric marker like this or my preferred method, I just take the corner of a notebook and make my template. So this is made out of cardstock and I'm lining up the center of the triangle with the seam that's going down the center and I'm just adding a couple wonder clips and placing that right on the edge and then I just use that for my template and I'm going to sew as close to the edge of that um, triangle as I can as close to my template and it doesn't matter if you go out a little bit just as long as you do the same thing on both sides so again I'm just sewing across the end you want to back stitch at the beginning and the end of the seam on this one very important because this is going to end up, end up being the corner of your bag now we're going to you can see my seam right here now we're going to open it up and repeat the exact same process on the other side finger press make sure I can see where that center crease is on the inside of the bag and I'm lining that seam up and it's also easier to line the seam up because you can see where the other seam that you just made is so you, that helps you also center it. You want to make sure those two seams are lining up. So I'm just pressing it flat. And again, I'm just going to use my template. I like using templates. If you're, you're a measurer, measure. I hate to measure things. Inevitably, I mess it up and I just find this is kind of foolproof and that works for me. But do whatever works for you. So again, I'm going to sew down that edge. making sure to backstitch at the beginning and the end of my seam. And again, I'm using these wonder clips. I love them. I use them all the time. I have them linked in the description below this video. I'm sure many of you already have some, but they come in really handy, especially for this. All right, now all we're going to do, if you have a serger, you might want to serge this. I'm going to show you both methods, but if you don't have a serger, go ahead and cut about a quarter inch away from your seam. Make sure you don't cut your seam and just cut that edge off on the outside of the seam. So you're cutting the point off. Your seam is going to remain intact on the bag. So once you cut that off, if you don't have a serger, go ahead and zigzag stitch across the ends just to keep that raw edge from fraying and look a little bit nicer. So I'm just going to put a zigzag. Now I didn't change my stitch length. I probably should have done a little bit closer of a zigzag but you'll get the idea here. I prefer to serge mine, but this works just fine. So you can see I just zigzagged the end of that just to finish it off. And on this side, I am going to run it through my serger and I'll show you what that looks like. And you can see here, I ran this side through my serger and that's the kind of finish that a serger puts it on it if you're not familiar with sergers. Now, believe it or not, we're done with this bag. All we gotta do is turn it right side out like I told you guys, this is the easiest project ever, and I think it's so, so cute. So the you can leave the bag just like this. You want to make sure you poke those corners out. It should make sort of a rectangle-ish square, um, depending on how big you made your corners. If you want to make the bag taller, make your triangles smaller. If you want to make the bag um, shorter, make the triangles bigger. So I like to just fold the edges down, but you can totally leave the edges up. And when I'm done, um, I usually press it and that will put it more in that boxy shape like my picture. But basically we're done. Give it a nice press and you've got some really cute fabric baskets. I hope you enjoyed this project. I think it's a lot of fun. Who doesn't need another basket for some catch-alls in their child's room, your bedroom, your bathroom. You can make them to match whatever reason you need them for. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. If you click that little bell next to the subscribe button, you'll be sure and get notifications. It'll send you an email every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.